made a ticket, but I ran out of ink. So I have this one, but I think I'm still gonna give him that, the color one. Okay, here we go. I have the biggest surprise for you. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? Yeah. You ready? The biggest surprise. Can you read it? Okay, hold it and read it. Polar Express. What does it say? Aiden sailed the North Pole all aboard. What does it say down here? Polar Ab Express. Above the Polar Express, what does it say? You are joining to ride the Polar Express. What does that mean? I'm riding a Polar Express. <gasps> when? You want to go today? I don't know. Do you want to go ride the Polar Express today for real? Yeah. Tonight? Uh-huh. You, uh -huh. Are you excited? Yeah. You're riding the train. Uh-huh. No excitement. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is literally me right now. happy friday it's another weekend and it is officially christmas weekend yay it is a bitterly cold outside i you know i live here in southwest louisiana so i'm like at the bottom corner of the boot of the shoe of louisiana and it is freaking cold it is 24 degrees feels like 12. it's like bitterly cold and i just don't know how you guys who live in northern climates do this all the time I would take my heat and all the other things that come with living in the South any day. Um, anyway, so we told Brayden about the Polar Express this morning. I am headed now, I'm off work. I'm headed now to change and grab my bag and then we're gonna hit the road because we've got a good little road trip ahead of us. Are you excited? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> lights again. Oh, great. Look at the train. The train. Boy, soldiers. It's I've been waiting for that one. We made it. Blue coat. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> you take a picture? But in the gift shop. Any further ado, please relax and enjoy.
you're going backwards. You want to sit over here? Definitely worth it. That was so much. Well, what was your favorite part of the Polar Express? S A N T A. Santa? That was cool. Did you love going to the North Pole? Yeah, and I have another part. The the store. Oh, the store after where you bought your train? Mm -hmm. Yes, like you needed another train. Uh-huh. So they saw as we were getting on the train that we had a wheelchair and she asked me what car I was in and I told her and apparently we were not in a handicapped car although I had requested a handicapped car or a handicapped section. So the girl moved us to the handicapped car and it was awesome. We highly appreciated it and we told her thank you very much. Um, so we had a great ride, that was awesome. I do definitely think it was totally worth the drive here. It's like I said about a four, and four hour drive or so. Here. I think it was wor well worth it. I would definitely do it again in the future. Do you want to ride the Polar Express again mm -hmm. one day? Yeah. Maybe with Dad next time, hopefully. Uh -huh. He did end up having to work, unfortunately, so he couldn't make it. But we had a blast and uh, love would love to do something like this again in the future. Say good night. Good night. And tomorrow is Christmas Eve. What happens on Christmas Eve? S A N T A. Santa comes. That's right. Have you been a good boy this year? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is so cold and the static is so bad. <laughs> Okay, good night. Good night. Look how cute. Brayden, of course, loves trains and wooden trains. He has uh, several sets of wooden trains. So we saw this guy and we thought it could add on to his current collection. Do you love it? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. <laughs> Very cute. Show me the Christmas tree. What all did it come with? Oh, bless you. Oh. That's pretty. And what's he? What is he? A conductor. Uh huh. And who is that? Santa Claus. Very cool. Okay. All right. We're looking for 23 and 24. Ooh, there's 23. 
I think I didn't open trains. We don't have enough trains in this house. <laughs> Another track. Awesome. It's straight though. Oh, good. Look. Yeah. And 24. Who is it? Mr. Santa Claus. Mr. Santa Claus. Here's Mr. Santa Claus. Awesome. Well, we made it home. It's right at 4 o'clock. Uh, we have a few things to do around here, and then we can just relax and enjoy the evening. I have um, a couple of things I have to make for tomorrow for family shindigs for Christmas. So, anyway, it was a good trip. I had so much fun. I would do that again in a heartbeat. Brayden loved it too. He can't wait to run at the Polar Express again. And then hopefully we can do this again next year where Jason can actually join us because I know he was sad he missed out. Hey man, what are we doing? Baking cookies for S-A-N-T-C-L-C-O-L-S-E. Oh, well that was very close. Baking sugar cookies for Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And I have eggnog hot chocolate. I asked Alexa if that was a thing and she told me it absolutely is a thing. So, yummy. Uh, sit down, sit down. Uh, what did I just do? Well, I figured since we made a mess, we might as well use the flour as our floured surface and cut out our cookies right here, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's do this. <laughs> Be sure to take this magic food and sprinkle on the lawn on Christmas Eve Santa's reindeer Oops. travel miles before the dawn. The smell of oats and shimmer path will guide them on their way and you'll wake to Santa's gifts the next morning on Christmas Day. Ready? Yeah. Let's go sprinkle it in the grass. There you go. Keep sprinkling. Good job. Carry your litter to Santa. He wants drains, as if you didn't know. And here's our cookies <laughs> and our carrots and our milk. All right, what are we missing? Tacos and Dr. Pepper. Tacos and Dr. Pepper? Who told you Santa likes tacos and Dr. Pepper? D8. That is silly. D8. I think, I think cookies and milk will do it for now, huh? No, tacos and Dr. Pepper will do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on. I can't believe I'm doing this, but someone convinced my child that Santa likes tacos and Dr. Pepper. So along with our cookies and milk and carrots for the reindeer, we're putting out tacos. Tacos. All right. Who convinced you Santa likes tacos? Mm. My dad. dad. Mm. My dad. Well, I sure hope Santa is hungry for a feast when he arrives at my house because, um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, it's almost 11 o'clock. I have a reindeer food ready. I have a pot of gumbo cooked and ready along with potato salad. And now I'm gonna wrap the Santa gifts and then I can go to bed. <laughs> the gifts are wrapped. It's all under the tree. Stockings are stuffed. We're ready for Christmas, aren't you? She just wants a snack. Oh, you want the carrots. Do you wanna be one of Santa's reindeer tonight? You do? Let's see. How about one of these. Oh yeah, good. It might be late, but this is one tradition I cannot let slide. 
have to watch this every year on Christmas Eve. If you've been following along for a while, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is NSYNC Holidays in Concert from Disney World. I think this was 1998. Oh no! It's YouTube, so I lost my DVD. I have it somewhere in the house. I just can't find it. So I'm having to watch it on YouTube this time. <laughs> Alright, that's my other tradition, also having to watch on YouTube because that's my DVD, I'm gonna have to find it. But this is my favorite. I've loved this ever since I was a child. Okay, you ready? Yeah! Come on! Whoa! <laughs> Look at Dad, he put the white. Santa Claus put the blue. Santa switch those bows? Mm -hmm. Santa knew, huh? And look, some, uh, look. I also got four Papa John. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, what is that? Brayden from Pixie. Did Pixie go shopping for you? Yeah. You saw her pushing her little shopping cart? Four Brayden from Maddie. Did Madeline go shopping for you? <laughs> Whoever finds the pickle gets the first present. Where's the Christmas pickle? Somebody knows because they hid it. Where's the Christmas pickle? <gasps> I get the first present. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good job. Don't drop it. That came from Germany. Well, Epcot. <laughs> but, you know, it counts, right? Does it have windows? Yeah. It does? Uh huh. Look. It has windows like Madison and Simon. Yay! Awesome. The big Santa gift. What did you get? Why did Santa tape it? <laughs> Santa loves tape. Santa know you wanted the monorail. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. This makes a good point. If you are standing, please hold on to the handrails and stay clear of the doors. They will be closing in a moment. Thank you. And you make them close? What? Next performers. Oh, you were watching the Disney Parks Christmas Parade. While playing with the monster. Everybody standing in this cage. Did he go all the way under the couch? Ah, oh, goodness. Is there a snake in the house? Yeah, there is. It's a girl who fell under the couch again. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. That's the end? Oh yeah, it sure is. What'd you get to see? Chains! Lucky day. Traditional Christmas fajitas, enchiladas, Jason's family. We have fun, my lips. Yeah. <laughs> for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all people. For today in the city of David, there has been born for you a Savior who is Christ the Lord. 
and this will be a, a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. What? I think it's a domino train. Not another one. Another domino train. What? Oh. Racing trains. <gasps> oh, you can race them. Idea. Good morning. Happy day after Christmas. It's Monday morning, the day after Christmas, and we are headed to a cousin's brunch at uh, my husband's sister's house. She invited all the little cousins uh, there to eat breakfast and watch the Polar Express. So I know Braden's going to love that. And then uh, I think I'm going to end this after the brunch. So we're going to head over there, and then uh, I'll see y'all after. Oh, we're early, huh? No, no, okay. It's 10.08. Okay. And we got some running a little late. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Hi. Bye. Bye. You wave bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We'll see you next weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. We're going to spend the night at Nanny Kim's house. Oh. And a happy Sunday, Monday, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Happy holidays. He is spending the night at my friend's house tonight, and uh, he is super excited about that. Okay, so we will catch you next weekend for New Year's Eve weekend, and it's almost 2023. So have a great week. Bye. Bye.